so the digesters have been done and there are three of them there's a large family size bio digester for the one bedroom apartment and there's this extra large commercial size bio digesters two of them for each side of the apartment we are back at it again dream house home improvements constructors of biodegradable waste bio digesters property tours in ghana and general construction and building here in ghana if you are new to this channel subscribe and be part of the growing community of those who are interested in how bio digesters work and of course how homeowners are using it as an option in human waste treatment and management here in ghana in this video i'm going to show you extra large commercial bio digesters that i did for this huge property here in accra stay with me as i take you around and show you exactly what is it that we did in this particular project Basically, these are two bedrooms, four apartments, and three bedrooms, four apartments, with one bedroom, three apartments, all together on this particular compound. You know, about 36 toilets, and then the owners of the property decided to go for a bio digester. After the trust that we have gained over the years, with the works that we do, when we met this homeowner, it was a simple execution plan that we put forward. The proposal was done for them, the drawings were done, and they agreed to what is it that we are proposing and then the digesters are being constructed and i'm going to show you how we go about it for a project like this and digesters like this that we are going to construct your biggest challenge is going to be what if you do know the answer leave it in the comment section below so basically we are going to do two commercial size bio digesters i mean extra large because it's going to be eight feet by four with a small soak away inside an overflow pipe that will be connected to the waste drainage line that are going into the waste gutter that will be constructed in front of the house or in front of the property linking to the other ones in the neighborhood the whole mindset is that when we came here we realized that the pipes that are on the ground floor is low and then they needed to be lifted up we spoke with the plumber he agreed to have them lifted up and then he also separated the pipes that are coming from the top into to join the one that's at the base and then all of them were going to separate it so that we can get enough elevation and then have them linked up to the digester and when you show up on the site there are specific things that you must try and meet and some of those ones are what is key when it comes to bio digester construction and one of the biggest problems that you are going to face like i've always said is where your waste water is going that's actually key for a project like this because i mean at the maximum capacity obviously there's going to be a lot of users that you have to think about and know that if the water that's coming in is going to be a lot and how to manage that one is going to be key for you imagine all the 36 toilets are being used at a point in time and you should consider the kind of water that you'll be having passing through the biodigesters and these are some of the key things that you need that's why when you show up for such a project there has to be a collaboration with the homeowner or the property owners obviously the plumber is key for you and the level the gradient the slope of the house where the slope is going to point towards and then the wastewater solution that you're going to provide is all key when it comes to constructing commercial size bio digesters when you are considering the construction of a commercial size bio digester there are a few things that you must insist on both technically and for convenience sake when we came to this particular facility there was no plastering done we asked the property owners to give us a plan of the building so that we can know exactly where the pipes are coming from both from the top and where they are dropping as well we also realized that there are a lot of debris here and then the property owners gave us a timeline that this is the time that they want to have the digesters done because then from there they'll do the plastering and do other things and we have to tell them that no for us to consider a biodigester for you, the activities that are going to be in the area is lessened. So we want you to go ahead and do the plastering. Even if it's not budgeted for you, do it right now. And then when you are ready, we will come in. And they were surprised, thinking that, ah, why will you come and see such a project and then you will not take the job and do it and go your way. 
And I told them, no, we are only looking for the best for you and the best for our interests as well when it comes to such projects because you really want to make everything work well. So the slope was key for us. We needed to know the level of the pipe, the gradient, and where they are going. We needed to let them know also that the level for which the pipes, in terms of the, the drainage system that they were going to construct at the front is going to be. So that when we do the digesters and we pick a slope and overflow pipe for them as well, then we know that we are all on the same page. Pipes that are coming from top of the building has to have an elevation enough so that we can have enough room for the inlet to go into the digester and then to have a space for the outlet as well to be joined to the drainage system that will be going into a bigger drainage system outside the house. Also, the pipes that are on the ground floor will have to be separated or it has to be raised because they were originally done for a septic tank that the homeowner was going to be constructed in front of the building. Then that was where all those parts were going to go. This is the back of the building. We are putting one here for the one bedroom apartment. That's in the middle here. And then the two bedroom apartments are here. And we are doing that particular digester here. It's also extra commercial art by digester. It's eight by four. And then the gutters will come here. After the roadside and then to go. So the whole idea is to have the drainage system all worked out and passing through here and nicely going out. So we did this extra commercial large by digester, eight feet by four feet for this side of the building where the, there are three bedroom apartments, three of them here. And this digester is just going to serve them here fine. So the digesters have been done and there are three of them. There's a large family size bio digester for the one bedroom apartment. And there's this extra large commercial size bio digesters, two of them for each side of the apartment. The other side has got two apartments, two bedrooms each, three of them, and this side has got three bedroom each, three apartments. And basically what we did was to have the soak away in it as part of the whole construction. It's about eight feet long and about four feet depth. So it's a huge biodigester. And then the soak away was done inside with an overflow pipe that takes the excess water that will be retained in the digester after filtration has been done, enhanced filtration has been done, will be sent to the drainage system that will be constructed in front of the house, taking it to a bigger drainage at the other end at the, at the other end of this particular area. So this is the biodigesters that can be done for this kind of properties. I mean, the possibilities are endless. The key part, like I always say, in most of this construction, is to make sure you know where your wastewater is going. If you have a fair idea of how to manage the wastewater that is coming in, because there's going to be a lot of wastewater coming in inside facility at each point in time, either in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, there's going to be a lot of wastewater or flash units that will be used by the people who will be living in such properties. Not even to consider the full capacity, which will be a lot of water. So when you have a fair idea of how to manage that wastewater, the biodigesters simply work because then there's biodegradation that takes place for the human waste and then the tissue papers that will all be dropped in it. The excess water with what must go out at every point in time so that it doesn't clog the pipeway, it doesn't affect the biodegradation process that's my happen in such a technology. Don't forget, I also did a small size, I mean, very, very small size, four feet precast, prefabricated slab digester for the for the security post. That is where those who will be taking care of this compound, this property, will be staying. They have a washroom there, and then I've done a digester, a small one, just at a place for them, with a pipe that will also send it all the way into the waste drainage. So there are a lot of jobs that we did here. We did four biodigesters. The mini standard size, <laughs> if you can call it like that, the mini standard size biodigester was done for the for the security post. And then the family size large one was done for the one bedroom house. We also did the extra commercial large biodigesters for each side of the building.